they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a picture, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a picture, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a picture, please don't let their secret out. Mega super duper coolest team on the planet. We say we do everything together and never ever fight with each other. All right. Children, if you look right here, you can see that the handle has broken off the professor's favorite mug. And it's our duty to fix it by gluing it back on. <laughs> here they are, the inseparable friends. <laughs> yes, quiet down. Since the two of you were late today, why don't you go fly over to the warehouse for us and get the glue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they crack me up. <laughs> Is there any glue left in there? <laughs> Nolik, try jumping on the tube a little. I, 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 I. Uh, great. There's plenty. Our super duper team has done some super excellent work. What's going on? Our hands are stuck. We gotta pull. Aye, aye, this glue is sticky. With the help of glue, you can stick almost anything together. Paper, plastic, glass, rubber, wood, and even metal. The reason that glue works is because everything, even an ordinary sheet of paper, has a rough surface. Just look at those pits and ridges. If we take two sheets of paper, fill those pits with glue, and press them together, the molecules of the glue will start joining with one another. After that, all that's left is for the glue to dry. <sighs> now what? <laughs> how about we fly like this? <laughs> Good idea. Everyone will laugh at how funny we are. <sighs> Heads up, everybody! <gasps> Mission complete! Well done. Take your places. And put your hands on your desk. We can't do that. We got glued together. It's all right. Come on over here. We don't want you to take our hands apart. We're sure this glue's going to make our friendship stronger, right? You really think friendship can be measured like that? <laughs> Jump! One, two, three, yeah! I need to go over there. Well, I need to go over there. <laughs> it's your fault we got into this mess. Mine? And who was the one that told me to jump? Enough. I'm done with your nonsense. From now on, you're not my friend. And you're not mine, all right? substances people use, glue was invented by nature itself. For example, fish glue their eggs together, and mollusks produce a sticky liquid that lets them stick to any surface. A spider smears glue on its web. A swift uses saliva to bind its nest, while caterpillars use their saliva to spin their cocoons. The sap from a pine or a birch tree is glue, and an egg sticky whites can be used as a base for glue. But today, most of the glues that people use are made in factories. When working with glue, it's important to air out the room from harmful fumes and to follow all other safety instructions. And try not to get glued to anything. It might be very hard to tear yourself away from it. Nolik, hang on! <laughs> Fire! You just saved me! 
But how come we got unstuck? Maybe it was bad glue? No. We were trying to get you disattached for so long that the glue lost the adhesive properties it had. And our friendship? Did it also lose its properties? You know what, Nolik? I'm sorry. We don't need glue to make our friendship stronger. Peace. Peace. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> gotcha. The coffee maker. Tanish! Hi there, Tom Thomas. Are you ready for school? Uh-huh. And you? I'm helping Masia today for school. Three more patients? How in the world can I do it all? I have that new equipment being delivered, and I'm leading this week's case presentations. Oh, well. Somehow I'll have to figure out how to do it. Um... Good morning. Yeah, just great, huh? I got work piled up to the ceiling. Okay, a cup of coffee is the only thing that can save me today. Now what? The last thing I need is to be late. The coffee maker started its cleaning cycle. She'll have to wait. <clears throat> What's the problem? Why don't you work? Are you going to work or what? <clears throat> Oh, the poor coffee maker! Oh, Tom Thomas's poor mother! That's enough! Work already! What is going on today? <laughs> hey, Mom, come on! Let me give it a try. I can't take any more of this. We've got to help her! I really hope nothing broke in there. Don't worry, we'll get it working. Just distract your mom. Mom, and what if the coffee maker just started working again right now? Would that save your day, you think? Mm-hmm. Early coffee makers would do nothing more than heat up the water and force it through the ground coffee. Today's generation of devices are often called coffee machines. They can do so much more and even remove the mineral deposits themselves. These machines can make your coffee any strength and add milk and sugar, if that's how you like it. And most conveniently, they can grind the coffee beans right before brewing. Just press the button and the fresh cup of coffee is ready. And that aroma. The main thing with any coffee maker is to be nice to it. Then you just give it some time and it starts working by itself. That is just absurd. Restarting it is the first step. Simka, get over there and open and close that contact. Mm -hmm. You see? That's what I was talking about. A coffee maker isn't alive. It's a machine, that's all. Then how come you hit it like you did? Hmm. But if you're really nice to it and you pet it... Then she'll purr. Hear that? It liked that a lot. Coffee maker, blink to us when you're ready to start working. Turn on the display. Mm -hmm. See that? It answered us. <gasps> it behaves like it's really alive. Well, coffee maker, make coffee. It's impossible. Today, time for a little surprise. Just don't give up our secret. You fixed it somehow. What's your secret? It's simple. If you handle appliances with care, then they'll take care of you. <sighs> the magic taste of coffee was first appreciated in Arabia. And that's why the most well-known variety of coffee is called Arabica. Coffee trees grow throughout the world in mountain regions where the weather is warm and humid. The branches of coffee trees get covered with coffee berries. But to make the coffee drink, we don't need the berries, just the seeds inside. After the coffee beans are roasted and then ground, hot water is added. Different cultures serve coffee differently. Some serve it hot, some cold. With sugar, with milk, with ice cream, with cinnamon, with ginger, and even with salt and pepper. They say that coffee gives people energy and helps them from feeling tired. But it's important not to drink too much. Tom Thomas, you're a powerful wizard. <laughs> she believes it. <laughs> it's remarkable. I can't believe an ordinary coffee maker can be so emotional. <laughs> Poor thing. Forgive me, huh? And that's not all. If you take care of your coffee maker and you're nice to it, it can even 
It can even sing a song. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. <laughs> I've got to be hearing things. <laughs> You've got me under your spell, Tom Thomas. Time to go, <laughs> Augustine. Huh. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine. Why did you start singing? Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> and I got carried away. Sing me that song again, will you? Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. Oh, my dear Augustine, everything's gone. The baby doll. You gotta get out. We can't all fit in here. This time we'll take a ride, and next time you can. And I'm by myself again? Hey, don't worry. I'm gonna be getting such a cool car later today, Tula. Will it be a big one? It'll be big enough for all of you. Tom Thomas! Here, your toy came just like you wanted. Awesome! What is this? A baby doll? <laughs> Splendid! Mom! Where's the car? Oh, it's got to be some mistake. I'll find out for you. I'm calling them. It's good to be a kid. People take care of you, feed you, buy you toys, and read you bedtime stories. But in return, you have to listen to adults. Go to preschool, then school, and always remember to put on a hat. All kids dream about being a parent, at least for a little while. Because moms, they're just superhuman. Human moms can do laundry, cook meals, iron clothes, and check their kids' homework all at once. Fixie moms can fix irons and hair dryers and can teach young fixies how they can do it. It's a shame that you can't become a parent before you grow up, but you can have fun pretending to be one. That's why girls like to play with dolls. Boys usually don't like it, but I don't see why. Dads can be really cool, too. What am I supposed to do with this now? I'm not some kind of girl who plays with dolls. <laughs> hey there, come on now. That baby doll's a real cutie. Why don't you put it down and we can get back to racing? Wait, wait! The baby's hungry, he needs to eat. Thomas, help me! No, I won't! Won't you please? He's crying, don't you hear? Oh. Mama! <laughs> That's all? After that boy? But what if something terrible has happened? My dolly's eyes were shiny. Toes and fingers tiny. He never acted whiny. I love my dolly so. Now my life is gloomy. How this happened to me? I can't find my cutie. My dolly's gone.
Honey, don't be upset about the car. It's going to get here soon. By the way, why did you put the doll in the cupboard? It was so hard to find. But is it still home? It's in the box over there. It's got to go back to the store. My poor dolly's gone. Ma, ma. My dolly! We're supposed to send him back today. Oh. Only I told Mom that I'd rather keep him. Hey, and what about your big new race car? Later. Did you do all this for me? You know... Papa! Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Please don't let their secret out. 